Philadelphia Eagles right now, they're five and six. And this is the time of year when we start to see teams peak. And I think that Philadelphia right now is peaking. Philadelphia, they have run three out of their last four games. They just defeated the New Orleans Saints 40 to 29. And for all of you guys who aren't Eagles fans, you can say, well, JT, they're facing a depleted Saints team. Like the Saints are in the middle of the playoff race right now, just like the Philadelphia Eagles are. Jalen Hurts is playing some really good football. He's thrown for 2,306 passing yards, 13 touchdowns. The five interceptions. He's completing 61.6% of his passes. He also has eight rushing touchdowns and 618 rushing yards on the ground. He's been pretty good this year. And me and my guy, Benny, back there recently got into like a little argument Sunday morning, I believe. And he was trying to tell me Jalen Hurts was a top 15 quarterback this year. And I was trying to tell him. I don't really think he was. And I told him, I said, listen, if Jalen Hurts has a good performance against the Saints and they win, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And he definitely has been. And I definitely feel like Philadelphia definitely does have something in Jalen Hurts because that has been one of the most intriguing storylines. Because remember, around the trade deadline, we heard Philadelphia was really hot on the Deshaun Watson trail. They were willing to give up a lot to get Deshaun Watson. They weren't really completely sold on Jalen Hurts. You also got to remember that they traded for Gardner Minshew right before the season. But Jalen Hurts has done a really good job he's played pretty solid now I know a lot of people aren't really all that impressed with what he's done in the passing game but you also got to take into account what he's able to do with his legs and I really feel like that Jalen Hurts can be a better version any more franchise long-term solution at quarterback similar to what Vince Young was with Tennessee remember Vince Young wasn't the greatest passer but you also had to account for his ability to run the football so I think that Jalen Hurts definitely could be the long-term answer at quarterback he puts in a lot of work I like his leadership skills I like how he handles the media this guy puts in a lot of work and like my guy was telling me earlier um, off camera before we started recording, he said that Jalen Hurst is one of those guys that you can just look at his eyes and just... The you, they're all there. Yeah, it's like you can it's really it's really hard to see Jalen Hurts not succeed and now I know a lot of people knock him for his lack of arm strength and his lack of arm strength has gotten Philadelphia in trouble at sometimes because there are certain passes that can only be made and tight windows that he simply can't be able to make but on top of that he also has to be really good when it comes to reading coverages and I think he's done a pretty good job of that a lot of people look at the passing numbers and they're not the greatest but he's winning games and I feel like their head coach is doing a really got really good job of building a offense around the strength of Jalen Hurst and as long as they continue to have some you know um, stability when it comes to the coaching staff and inside that franchise, I definitely feel like Jalen Hurts can develop. Jalen Hurts is one of those quarterbacks that you can't have him be successful with having three different offensive coordinators or three or four different head coaches. Like he needs the same coaching staff that's able to build a scheme around him that he's able to continue to grow in for over the next couple of years. So you look at the development of Jalen Hurts. I really like how he's performed so far this year. And on top of that, for the Philadelphia the Eagles your remaining games to close out the season or against the New York Jets and against the rest of the teams in the NFC East so you got to play Dallas you got to play Washington you got to play the New York Giants so for Philadelphia if you can win at least four of your remaining games you put yourselves at nine wins and you potentially could end up getting one of the last remaining spots in the NFC playoffs because right now we're currently looking at the NFC playoff picture going into week 12 this week the Philadelphia Eagles are currently right behind the San Francisco 49ers at 5-5. Five and five. Then you right now, you have the Saints at the 7th seed with a 5-5 five and five record. And the Minnesota Vikings currently occupy the 6th spot right now with a 5-5 five and five record also. And those two teams have some pretty tough schedules to close out the remainder of the season. So I think that it's very possible that we could see Philadelphia clinch one of those last remaining spots in the playoffs because I feel like Philadelphia right 
now they're peaking at the right time and this is one of the most important months in football i say it so many times there are a lot of teams that start the season out slow but they start to pick up a lot of momentum around this time and i definitely feel like philadelphia is a team that's picking up a lot of momentum on top of that their defense has performed really well darius slay has been really good i also think that darius slay has been one of the more underrated cornerbacks this season he also should be mentioned in the defensive player of the year conversation he scored what like a touchdown and over the last three two matchups he had that big fumble return against the detroit lions so when i look at philadelphia this is a team that has been really competitive in pretty much all of their games like i don't think the eagles have had too many games where they have just gotten blown out of the building. They played the LA Chargers pretty tough. They played the Tempe Bay Buccaneers pretty tough. Then on top of that, you know, they were right in it with the Kansas City Chiefs until late when Kansas City was able to pull away. So there were a lot of games that you can say as an Eagles fan, if a couple of things would have went in your way or you would have had the ball bouncing your direction, you probably could be a 6-7 win football team right now. And Philly Philadelphia is a team that does have some talent. They don't have a lot of talent, but you look at how their schedule pans out. I definitely feel like they can go on a similar run to like what Washington did last year. Now, can they win the division? I don't think they're going to be able to win the division, but I definitely feel like they have a good chance of nagging one of those last remaining playoff spots, either that six or seven seed in the NFC. So you guys let me know if you guys feel like the Philadelphia Eagles could go on a late season playoff run. Make sure that you guys Guys, go ahead, like the video, check out the JT Sports Podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you guys leave a five-star review. Every single video that is uploaded on the channel is uploaded in audio format on every single podcasting platform, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from, the JT Sports Podcast is available. And I will see you guys with another episode of the JT Sports Podcast later.